In this video, we're going to explore how you can use Chart.js and we're going to solve a very specific question. And this is the question, how to set in Chart.js a fixed negative skill. All right, so we're going to set a fixed negative skill and here's a quick warning. Doing this means that you will have a fixed negative skill no matter what happens. So this is very, very important. So even if you are surpassing the amount, you will you will not see it on here, but I will show you another way as well, what you probably better can do unless you really need a fixed skill. All right, so first of all, what's fixed skill? Well, we're going to here, you can see here we have a minus five, and this is our milk tea sales, and this is the comparison with last week, which flavor did we sell, and which flavor are, are selling lesser compared to last week. And you can see Okinawa it has dropped with three items, while the others, especially the Hokkaido, has been increased in orders for milk tea only for that specific one we're selling this week 19 pieces more compared to last week all right what we're going to do is we're going to force this here to a minus 10 and that's what we want to do so how can we do this to to do this we need to understand first where we're going to adjust it all right so here let's go to our axis and then in the axis because this is related to the axis or the scales then we click here on cartesan and Cartesan, I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, I'm trying to, and Cartesan will have the item that we need. Because what we're having here is, let's look at our chart here, which is a logical chart, uh, a linear chart as well, basically. Why? Because there's a fixed amount of jumps going up. The steps are fixed amount. And what we want to do is control this. So click on linear, and then here you have the linear Cartesan axis. Here we're going to play around. And these are specifically the tick configurations. All right, so let's look at it. And remember with our axis, which axis are we going to focus on? This here is the vertical, which focus on the Y axis. This one here from left to right is the horizontal or the X axis. In our case, we need the Y axis. All right. So if you look here, you can see here by default, it's the begin at zero, if true, you can, or there's no, not even set as default. Before it was, but now it's not anymore. However, this is uh, the option. And what we need is, we need the following. We need the max, well, this is the suggested option. We have the fixed, we're gonna do the fixed one first, and then we're gonna do the suggested option. Let's scroll down here more. But you see here the step size, and then you can see here, the Y axis we're going to focus on, and the mi max and min. All right, this is the most important one, and focus on the ticks. So the ticks mean the jumps. All right, let's start and do this right now. So we go here to our, this is our HTML file, and here we have the chart. And in here, in the options, we're going to play around with it. So let's put in here a comma. Then in here we say scales. Scales, column, and brackets. All right. So what we need to do here, and this is very important, we have here the y-axis, you have to pay attention here on the y-axis, you need this uh, bracket and then curly bracket, all right? So we say here, y-axis with the capital alpha, then we do bracket and then curly bracket. And in here, we can say now the ticks, and then column, and then here again, curly brackets, Everything here, we're going to put in the min value because that's the one we're going to solve. We say minus 10. We want a fix or a starting point. Minimum is minus 10. All right, we have this. Let's save this. Go back here. Let's go to our chart. Let's refresh the chart. And right now it's, let's see if it's loading or do we get an error? Let's double check here. Here we put a comma, takes Y axis. What are we missing here? Not yet. Let's have a refresh this. Apparently we have a mistake here. So let's look what we're missing here. We have the ticks, all right, the y-axis and the scales. All right, so let's go to the scales. Ah, you can see here I'm forgetting the column here. All right, so sorry about that. Pay attention to the column. All right, once we did that, refresh, there we are. So now it's minus 10, so, and this is the minimum, and we could even do a max, let's say max on 10, you will see it will cut off this this value here as well. So the comma, 
max 10 val 10 is value save that refresh now you can see we're losing a part of our chart as you can see even the uh, tooltip is not showing properly anymore same goes here if you're going to do this one on minus 15 let's see what happens click on this refresh here and there you are you can see here now it's starting going somewhere down here and this is not what we want but maybe you want really a fixed if it's fixed there's no way it will always cut off if anything surpasses that very important to remember so maybe you say, well okay this is maybe not the right thing so what we want to do is we want to give it more a flexible thing we want to give them a suggestion however we want chart.js to be intelligent enough to figure out that if we are surpassing the rule adjust that or if there's so much space adjust that to a more appropriate tick or starting point so we say here suggested min let's save this go back here and refresh now you can see the suggested min is starting to adjust itself to minus 15 and let's go back here and let's adjust this now we say this will be minus 10 oh, minus 10 let's save this and refresh now this suggested min is just matching to minus 10 and if we say here instead of minus 10 we do minus 3 that was the original value let's save that and refresh as you can see it will still go to minus 10 because apparently it's suitable enough and if we will adjust this as well we say suggested max save this then refresh as you can see now minus 10 is here because it starts to calculate that this 20 would be more than enough for the highest value because the highest value here is 19. so this is the way how you can set the um, the scales in a negative but also in the positive well let's try that one you want to try that let's explore we do this 10 we do this 50. let's see what happens now oh sorry this is suggested we do this in the min and this in the max refresh and you can see now we only have the one that matters here and this is in this case hokkaido is the only one that, that jumps up because it surpasses the 10 points or the 10 sales all right so this is basically how you can play around with chart.js extra options in the cart design you adjust the scale so one more time why the scales well first of all we say the scales right why these scales because this is the scales and then which scale are you going to focus on the y-axis which is this part here the vertical version or the vertical line and then the ticks we're going to pinpoint the ticks and then in the ticks this is what we're going to adjust if you have questions regarding to this maybe you're still struggling with this no problem at all put them in the comment section below and i'll make sure i'll follow up on you and if you like these kind of tips and tricks about chart.js check out my chart.js course on udemy where it's a deep dive of 10 hours full of content giving you everything you can imagine what you absolutely need about what you absolutely need to know about chart.js